Hello patient, my name is Hadley Brown and I am here to talk with you about the sore that you have. I think that there are a number of possibilities that could be the reason of this sore, among those being actinic keratosis, a basal cell carcinoma, a melanoma, or a squamous cell carcinoma. A, I know these are kind of complicated words and they might be hard to understand, but I am here to break those down and, you know, make it a little bit less complicated. The first um, possibility is an actinic keratosis and that is a growth on the skin that uh, is caused by excessive sun exposure. Um, the second option is a basal cell carcinoma, and I think that that's a likely candidate for, for your sore, and it is a tumor on your outer layer of skin, um, and it's, it's mostly can spread locally. It doesn't um, tend to reappear in other parts of the body. Our third uh, candidate is a melanoma, and a melanoma is a non-cancerous skin tumor, and so it, it's turned malignant, that means non-cancerous, um, and it, um, it originates in melanocytes, which are um, pigment-producing cells. Um, the last can uh, cancer that I mentioned is um, is going to be squamous cell carcinomas, and um, it is when a red skelly ele elevation appears on the skin. Um, it is also capable of metastasis, and that means that um, the the red scaly elevation will appear in another part of your body. It doesn't just spread locally, it spreads um, to other parts, um, completely different from where it originally um, appeared. So the key to all of these um, skin cancers, you know, is to catch it early so that we can start treating it. Um, the great thing about modern medicine and kind of what we can do right now is treatment. And so we are able to um, treat most of these with a surgical removal. Um, it is safe and it's very effective. Another thing that we can do is um, uh, treat with chemotherapy and radiation um, just to, to stop the growth. Um, and, and maybe downsize it. And, um, if those treatment options do not um, are not effective, then um, a lot of the times when diseases metasize, um, me or, yeah, metasize or you know from met metastasis, um, we can treat it through a daily pill. Okay, and. Um, who and I believe that you know all people are capable of getting skin cancer but some things that make you more at risk are going to be having light a light skin tone um, which you know you have right in front of me and um, having maybe an overexposure to sun being you know either working outside a lot or um, being outside, you know, for, for long periods of time, and also, um, and also indoor tanning. That's, it's really not, not good for your skin, and it increases your chances of getting skin cancer. Um, I would suggest, you know, after we take care of this sort, doing routine um, self-checks on yourself, um, just making sure and looking at your skin and kind of um, assessing your body, making sure there are no new marks or elevations, um, just, you know, you know what 
is not normal for you, what, you know, is a, is a new mark or a new sore, you know, um, just routinely making, you know, those self checks is going to really help you prevent it um, in the future and get it in quickly as soon as you see something that looks out of the ordinary come see me and um, we'll go about you know helping you out okay well I hope that you have learned a lot and here is a handout that has pictures of all the various types that we of can skin cancer that we um, talked about today and um, and all just kind of the descriptions one more time. Thank you.